Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I have to install a drawer handle. So this is for one of those fancy dishwashers that has like cabinet fronts. So it's a little bit tricky. It's probably not the best one to show you guys, but I don't know when the next time I'll be doing any cabinet hardware is. But anyways, the first thing you want to find out is where do you want to put the handle? So in this case, I'm going to match it up with where they have it on all of the existing ones. So it is centered at three and three sixteenths down. So right there, that's three and three sixteenths. So that's what this one's going to be. And also, of course, it has to be centered this way. The next thing you need to know is what is your center to center screw hole measurement. So in this case, how I often like to check is I will measure from this point to this point, And that will actually give me the center to center hole measurement. So right now I have 12 and 9 sixteenths. So I'm just going to really quickly eyeball this to double check to make sure that worked out. And yes, 12 and 9 sixteenths. So the next thing I need to do is I need to find the center on my drawer and I need to split 12 and 9 sixteenths. One of the things I often like to do is actually put a little bit of tape where the hardware is going to go just to make it easier for marking. So I know that it's going to be right here. 3 and 3 sixteenths is going to be roughly my center so I'm making a very small mark. This step isn't totally necessary but what it does is it just makes it so that you can put marks on this easier, see it a little easier and not worry about scratching this surface. The next thing we need to know is the center of this. So this is 23 and 7 sixteenths. That's fun. So that will turn into 11 and 3 quarters small. So the 3 quarters small is just in between 11 sixteenths and 3 quarters. So right there, 11 and 3 quarters small. Let's double check our measurement. Yep, 11 and 3 quarters small that way. The next thing I need to do is split this measurement in half. So 12 and 9 sixteenths is basically 12 and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to go 6 and a quarter small. It's 12 and 9 sixteenths on this side. So we've got it marked out and it's always a good idea to double check your measurements. So yes, that lines up. I'm going to firm those up a little bit, make them a little clearer to see. Next is my 3 and 3 sixteenths down. 3 and 3 sixteenths down. Double check to make sure they're both the same. Yep, three and three, three and three. And if I want to double check again really quickly, I can make sure five and three eighths from that side, five and three eighths from that side. So we're centered. The next thing you're going to be doing is drilling a hole through the cabinet so that this little screw can go through. And what it does is it just sandwiches the door, the drawer front, in between these two things. So right there you can see there's one of the screws. Now what you want to be sure of is that you're using a fairly sharp drill bit. One of the risks here is that the back of this melamine, so this plastic back part of the cabinet, can blow out. As the screw goes through it'll just kind of explode and this screw head might not cover the blowout. If you use a really sharp bit and you go fairly slowly it will usually cover the blowout. The other thing you can do is you can also hold a block against right here. So like a chunk of 2 by 4 or 1 by 4 when you drill through and holding that there is going to stop it from blowing out as much as well. Just make sure you don't go through into your hand. The next thing you want to do is make sure you have the right size bit for your screw. So what I do is I always just eyeball this and this to make sure that this is a little bit bigger. Now I don't make these snug and the reason is there's no adjusting room if you pick a bit that is totally snug with this. It just is where it is and you can't fudge it up and down at all. So I always make sure that this is maybe like a 30 second bigger than this or even up to a millimeter. Next it's time to drill your holes and you want to make sure of two things. One, you want to make sure that your drill bit doesn't wander when you start drilling. A sharp bit helps with that. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're pretty square. So as an experienced carpenter, I can eyeball square and see it. 
but you want to make sure you're not too much that way or that way or that way or that way. Otherwise, it's going to complicate the installation process. So now there's nothing to it but to do it. And there's metal on the back side of this one because it's one of those weird panels. So now I've hit the metal and I have to just wait and push a little harder. You guys won't usually have the metal there. So make sure you're right lined up. You only get one shot at these. So next you want to take off the tape if you decided to use it. You got your set screws back here. You want to get those through. And now you're going to thread them into this guy. And so I don't have much room back here to work with because there's wires attached to this. So I got to use a little stubby here. So if you've got a light touch with a drill, you can definitely use a drill to install these. If you're a little clumsy and tend to send things home by accident, I recommend using a screwdriver. That way you'll have a lighter touch. And you just go until it's snug, not until it's like crushing the wood, but you want to go until it's just snug. So there's a little friction holding it there. So now I'm going to quickly check my measurements to make sure it's in the same spot. Top of this is at three. Top of that's at three. So they're both the same there. And I can see it's centered and I double checked this. In fact, I think I triple checked it to make sure. And now I've got to figure out how this thing goes back on. So I'll show you guys in a minute after I've figured this out. The next thing you want to do is just take a look at it. And if it looks off in any way, at this point, if you use the slightly bigger drill bit, you can usually tap it one way or the other. That's why it's nice to have that bit of slack. So that's how you install a drawer handle on kitchen cabinets. Now there are faster ways to do this. You can make a jig, which is like a 90 degree right angle. So you have like a board and a right angle and you just plunk it on here and that board will have a couple of drill holes right there and there. And so you can just do it on every single one. However, with drawers, you often end up having to measure them because you have different width cabinets all over the place. So usually on drawers, I find it takes more time to make a jig than it does to just drill them all out independently because you have so much variation. However, with actual doors, oftentimes you have them just there and there and you can make a jig for all of the doors and that works. But drawers often need to be done independently, as I just said already. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope if you've got some cabinet hardware to drill on, I hope that helps give you some ideas of what to do and get a good result. Thanks for watching, and if you want to support the channel, do all those like, subscribe thingies that um, now I guess I'm starting to tell you guys to do. What am I, a YouTuber or something? Anyways, till the next video, guys. Hope it was useful.